Hey, Dave Spaulding here from Handgun Combatives. I'm looking forward to an outstanding 2014 season. And for those of you that took my classes in 2013, you're probably familiar with this target that I set up. Um, I developed a series of targets for law enforcement targets that were called the DST target series. And it was a progressively more difficult photo photographic target system but it was really intended for fixed locations like law enforcement agencies or for you know private training institutions. Really hard to travel and work out of the back of your truck with five or six different targets. And if I had to fly somewhere, shipping the targets ahead became really problematic. Well, over the last couple of years, something I've discovered is that most gun clubs and most facilities have all kinds of these IPSC or IDBA cardboard targets that are already shot up. So what I started doing is I started showing up with these appliques that would allow me to do the different drills. The problem was, was all the gluing and, and, and fixing and then the holes that were out here, you had to tape them up. So it made me arrive at the conclusion is I needed to come up with a new target. And I'm gonna reveal it to you right here. As you can see, it's basically the same thing that I did with the appliques, but it's in one single target. It's available from law enforcement targets and it's called the HCT-01. <laughs> Handgun Compatibles target number one. The reason we say number one is because there is going to be a second target in the near future and it's basically going to be like this but it's going to be the side of the body because you know what? You've got to train for that three-dimensional world. You won't always be confronted by people who are facing you. If you take a look at the target, you can see that it's anatomically correct. Now, I worked with a number of trauma surgeons to get this anatomy correct. As you can see, we've got the spinal column, we've got the heart, the major vessels, we've got some of the lung in there because lung can be good shot. It goes up into the brain, the abdulla, basically that ocular cavity of the eyes and the nose. Keep in mind that the skull is very hard, it's very round, and bullets have bounced off of it. So if you're gonna to try to shoot someone in the head, trying to get it through the, the holes of the ocular cavity, the nasal cavity, right in here is a good place to penetrate the brain. So we've given you those areas that would be quite susceptible to incapacitation with handgun bullets. You'll also notice down here on the bottom that I've got these three inch squares. Well, I know it's within the, the normal industry standard to shoot at three inch circles, but I got to thinking about this and I got to thinking that with the exception of excess sights and their, their dot sight, most handgun sights were square. And some, since I'm trying to get my students to have that equal height, equal light sight picture, it made a lot more sense to have them focus on squares and I've had great success with doing that. But also I want to call to your attention the placement of those squares. If I put the target over top of me, you'll notice those squares line up with the pockets on my pants. This goes back to my days of SWAT when we were taught to shoot the pockets. What we were, what we were trying to do was to break that ball joint where the leg and the pelvic girdle come together. I know it's kind of popular these days to teach pelvic shots, but they're also controversial. Some medical professionals will say, yeah, it's great, they'll go down. Others say not so much. But one thing that I have found to be universal, if you hit this ball joint right here, you're probably gonna put that person down because the support structure is gone. So I've continued to talk to trauma surgeons about this, they agree on it. So I'm gonna continue not only to use these targeting squares, for sight alignment, sight picture, and trigger control, I'm gonna be teaching students to shoot pockets just like I've done for an awful long time. And then right here, you see that three by five card that goes along with that two by two by two drill. But also, I use this for recoil control, for holster skills, for a number of other drills that I do during my classes. Works out to be quite successful. But I wanna show you something else that comes in handy. I pulled this target out of the trash can here at my gun club. Gun club shooting facilities across the nation have these things laying around everywhere, usually in big stacks because they're left over from various competitions. Now, like I said before, I could put my applique over it and then I had to kind of staple up or uh, tape up the holes around it. 
But let me show you what the HST target does, or the HCT target does. Little spray adhesive. Line that up. That's why the target is already pre-cut. Get the adhesive to stick. Fresh target. I can ship these ahead in a tube, have these available. I can use whatever cardboard targets they have. As you can see, my adhesive isn't working real good. But, staple it up on the target stand, I'm ready to go. As a matter of fact, as the center of that gets shot up, I could still use my old appliques to heal these targets. So what this gives me is a great capability to do a lot of things and travel light, but also get that required shot placement that handgun training, uh, it's, it's essential in handgun training to get that precise shot placement. But now, I haven't given up on the 3D dimensions or the 3D training aspects. I could pick up a couple of these targets and use another product from law enforcement targets. Now this is an insert that's normally designed to be used inside the tack man. And as you can see, it lines up with that same scoring area. Let me show you a way to make a 3D target. I take this, basically line it up here, get my staple gun out, Okay, find me another junky target. As a matter of fact, I could even do it in such a way that I have one of them appliques on the back. Whoa, boy. Put a t-shirt over this, and now I've got a three-dimensional target that I can actually score from front, back, and to the side to some degree. Put a t-shirt over that, I've got uh, close quarter training target, I've got three dimensional targets, I can give my students something to look at that will look more like a human being and also give me again that required shot placement. So if you're looking for something that's simple and easy to use, we'll give you good feedback. The HCT-01 target from Law Enforcement Targets is what I use. Give it a try, I think you're going to like it too. Thanks for checking in.